much as the faculty and staff has been saying they love you for the past year, I'm pretty sure they don't want to see anyone from the class of 2007 hanging out at the school gates in 2008. <laughs> if you're anything like me for the past year, anytime your parents said something to get on your nerves, you were grumbling under your voice, I can't wait to get out of these people's house. But well, guess what? They can't wait to. When you heard them say, I'm very proud of you, what they were really saying was, leave and don't come back. When they were saying, go away to college and be successful, what they were really saying was, go make your own money so you don't call me for my money. And don't come back. When you heard them say, stay out of trouble, what they were saying was, don't call me for bail money. And don't come back. See, there are five ways you can ensure that you don't come back. One, you want to believe in yourself. Just the other day, my 12-year-old son and my 6-year-old son had an argument over the word cough. My 12-year-old was telling him that the word cough is not a real word. He was saying that it's not in the Webster's Dictionary. My 6-year-old was saying, but Dad said to us all the time. He said he won't hit us with it. Eventually, they brought the argument to me. And they asked me, Dad, is a cough a real word? I said, no, it's not an addiction. You can look at it as a slang. Typical 12 year old looked at the six year old and said, I told you so. Six year old then looked at him and said, it might not be a real word, but it's a real thing. You want to feel it? <laughs> See, he believed in himself, and nothing could change what he was thinking and how he felt. Number two, you want to stay dedicated to your mission. Each one of you came in existence for a purpose. You have talents and skills that are embedded inside of you that you must use. And we don't use them talents, you abort your mission. And who are you supposed to be blessed with that, those talents will not benefit from it. Three, you want to focus. F-O-C-U-S, which means follow on course until successful. You don't want to stop, you don't want to be distracted, disrupted, or interrupted. You want to focus and follow that one course until you're successful. Number four, you want to stay educated. As has been said, education replaces speculation. So when, when someone tells you that they're giving you a speculation or something, they really don't have any education on it. So if you educate yourself, you won't have to speculate yourself. And last, you don't want to call home collect. I'm sure parents are loving that one. Because calling home makes you want to miss home, want to visit home, want to ask for money from home, and eventually you want to move home. There's something about when kids are allowed to make collect calls, they think that the parents are really saying because they took the collect call charges, it means that they're willing to take all of their household expenses. And really that's not the case. Today, graduates, you are participating in commencement exercises to commence to begin.